Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a cash envelope stuffing video. It's going to be my second paycheck for November. And the total amount that I'm going to be stuffing today is $697. Um, I'm not going to be stuffing that many sinking funds, but I just wanted to show you what I'm going to be stuffing within this paycheck. Um, I'm going to pull out the cash now and I'm going to get to counting. So let's count this cash. We got 100, 200, 300, 50, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97. So six hundred and ninety-seven dollars. So I'm gonna organize this cash and we're gonna to get to stuffing starting with my cash envelopes. So first we're gonna start with cash envelopes and I'm gonna be stuffing two envelopes in here today. The first one is gonna be gas and gas is gonna get the remaining balance from my budget. Um, I already filled up my tank before I did this video and literally the gas prices are going up. It usually takes me $40 to fill up my tank, but this last time it was like 60. So that's how much gas is going up, especially in Georgia. So the remaining balance is $25 and that's gonna be a 20 and a five. Next is going to be groceries. Groceries, I'm putting the remaining of the balance in here because I had to buy some stuff before this video. And that is going to be $48. That is going to be two 20s, one five, and three ones. So two 20s, a five, and three ones. So that's 20, 40, 5, 6, 7, 8. Self-care, eating out, miscellaneous, CVS. It's not getting anything. Receipts. I have receipts in here. I'm going to put my Ibotta and Fetch Rewards referral codes up. Um, for those who don't know, Fetch Rewards and Ibotta are like cash back uh apps for groceries and basically for your shopping needs and you can use those points or cash back for gift cards or just money to put in your account um so that's what i'm going to put up and you can sign up and then you're going to get some points or cash back for signing up um the same thing for gas I use Get Upside. That one is really good. I love using that. Um, I've been using it since 2020, and I already have like $90 worth a worth of cash um, accumulated from uh, using it constantly. So that's pretty much it. And I have some coupons, and that's pretty much it for the cash envelopes. Now we're gonna get into my other purple binder, my glitter binder, which is my expenses. So with expenses, the first thing that we're gonna stop is rent, and rent is going to be 250. After I put the 250 in here, I should have a total of $500. So that's going to be Two one hundred dollar bills and one fifty. So let's see how much we have in total. Organize this money. All right. So we have one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, four fifty, four seventy, four ninety. 500 so that is the full amount next is 
car insurance. Car insurance is going to get $150 a day. So that's going to be one $100 bill and $150. So that's that. Chase Freedom Unlimited is going to be getting, I think, $38. I think it's $38. Yep, $38. And that's going to be a 20, a 10, five, and three ones. So total, we should have $238. So I have one, two, 20, 35, six, seven, eight. So $238. And this covers the minimum payment for this credit card. Next is Chase Freedom. Chase Freedom is going to be getting $54. So that's going to be two 20s, a 10, five, and four ones. So I have 20, 40, 50, one, two, three, four. So that's the total of $54, which completes my minimum payment for this credit card. Next is renter's insurance. Renter's insurance is getting $20. So right now, Brenner's Insurance has 20, 40, 60. AT&T is not going to get anything today. Apple is going to get $30, and that's going to be a 20 and a 10. So, right now, Apple has 20, 30, 40, 1, 2, 3. So, that's $43, which completes the minimum payment for this credit card. And then, Georgia's Own is not going to get anything. Nelnet is not going to get anything. But, I do want to put some money back here for things that I don't have um, envelopes for. Um, the first one is going to be subscriptions and it's going to be $27. This is going to be like for like my Canva, my Apple charges. Um, let me see what else. Netflix, things like that. So I'm going to take out 20, a 20, a five and two ones for subscriptions. So that's that. And then also, I also need to put out $40. Well, I'm sorry for hitting this. I need to take out $40 for uh, my Rooms to Go credit card. So I'm going to stuff this back here too. And that completes my purple binder. Now we're going to get into my pink binder. And as you can see, I only have a 10 and a 5. Um, so, first we're going to get into Debt Snowball. So right now, Debt Snowball has 1, 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Um, so it has $11. I'm going to put this towards my Georgia's own credit card um, because I didn't budget for that. And I did have a lot more money in here, but I used it for like preparing for my job because where I work at, it requires a lot of um, 
things beforehand so I just wanted to make sure I had the money for that so I took it out of here and then also I had to take some money out of here as well because um like I said my job and I have to now prep things since I'm working two jobs two full-time jobs to be honest well close to full-time so I'm going to be going from one job to another in one day and I don't have time in between those two jobs to actually rest and stuff so I need to make sure I really eat and really have um like lunch prepared because where I work out work at you can't really just leave and go get something to eat um they have places where you can eat at but it's really expensive so um so I'm going to buy stuff for like lunch and snacks and stuff like that because I will be packing a lunch so I took some money out of here um right now it has um emergency fund has 110 20 30 35 so I took out a hundred dollars out of my emergency fund um so but today I'm going to be adding ten dollars towards my emergency fund and now emergency fund has 110 20 30 40 45 so it's 145 dollars and i will beef this back up um when i start getting my other paycheck so hopefully i will be able to put like 20 dollars or more in my emergency fund to bring it back to what it used to be the highest it's ever been is like 300 dollars, and i'm trying to get back to that so that's one of the reasons another reasons why i want to work two jobs so i can get this to a thousand dollars quickly next is savings or last is savings and savings is going to get five dollars this have not been touched and i'm not going to touch it so unless i really need to <laughs> so savings have 120 40 50 60 70 so it has hundred and seventy dollars let me count that again 120 40 50 60 70 I have to sometimes count it double like again check it twice because I'd be like do I really have that much in here so so savings have hundred and seventy dollars and as you can see I have no more money everything else in here have not been touched and I do want to go to my holographic binder because I need to transfer some money somewhere. All right, so in my holographic binder, I was saving up for Thanksgiving because originally we were supposed to be going out to eat. And then after that, we decided that we was instead going to do something small in the house. But now I'm going to be working on Thanksgiving, both jobs. So my money that I saved up for Thanksgiving can go towards something else. Oh, before I even get to that, clothes, I had to take money out of clothes because I had to buy um, some pants for my job. And that was $22 and I bought it at Forever 21. So right now clothes have $16, which is... Okay, because this is what the sinking fund is for, it's for clothes. So going back to other holidays, I will be working on Thanksgiving, both jobs. I want my time and a half. So the money that's in here now, I'm going to put it towards myself because, um, it was originally for Thanksgiving to buy food so I can enjoy Thanksgiving, but instead I think I'm just going to buy a book. It's only $20, so um, I really wanted to buy a book for the longest. I'm thinking about buying 48 Laws of Power, um, and it's going to be cheaper since it's on my iPad. I'm going to buy it, buy it on my iPad. Um, I really don't buy physical books anymore because it takes up a lot of space and I don't have space for... Um, any more books so um 
that's what I'm thinking about doing with this money. So I'm going to put this to the side so I can put it in my bank and I can purchase the book later. Um, but if I don't get 48 Laws of Power, I have a whole bunch of books that I need to purchase um, or that I want to purchase. And every book that I buy is like kind of like self-help psychology based um nonfiction. so i like to learn and when i'm curious about something i like to read about it or research it so that's what i'm basically going to be doing um for the end of this year i may just start a sinking fund just for books so yeah other than that everything is pretty much the same so that's pretty much it for my cash envelope stuffing i do have a question for y'all before i leave i'm getting paid for from both jobs on the same days like i get paid on this um the same pay period it's not going to be alternate so i was wondering if i should make two separate videos for each job or should i put everything in one video when it comes to my cash envelope stuffing and my budgeting video so let me know in the comments because i was thinking about doing it separately so i can have more content for y'all or more uploads for y'all instead of seeing me once every two weeks so let me know in the comment section um if you have any other questions comments or concerns please put it down in the comment section i will respond as soon as possible until then i will see you guys in my next video thanks for watching